I check out a sheepskin tannery and we check out the talents of the lady killers right here at the party. But before that, we get an insight into obesity. Come on, guys, give me five! Show me some commitment, some passion! At least that warrior within! Come on, you wusses! Hit me! Hit the back! Hit the Obesity is one of the most serious problems facing the 21st century. The latest New Zealand Health Survey found that Pacific men and women were two and a half times more likely to be obese than the rest of the population. So why do we have this problem and what's being done about it? Let's find out. Hi. Hey, guys, meet health professional Dr. Brandon Or Walker. Hi. Hi. Brandon, how would you describe what obesity is? Uh, obesity is when a person has too much weight for their for the good of their health in the long term. For example, in Pacific people, it's it's really two out of three adults have got obesity as defined. So it's a really big problem. What are the risks that obese people have? The major risks are, are really all of the chronic diseases, so gout, diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, wearing out your hips, not breathing well when you're asleep even some cancers such as bowel cancer and breast cancer. Has obesity always been a problem? It's been with us for a long time. The increases in rates of obesity have occurred since the mid-1980s. We're now living in an environment where there's much more food. We eat on the run, we eat everywhere, and we've become more sedentary. That means less active. So what can we do about obesity? It's about behaviours, and behaviours are hard to change, but they can be changed. Reducing the amount of energy-dense foods, that's sugary foods which tend to be eaten and not fill you up. Decreasing the amount of fatty foods which have got a lot of calories in them. Um, reducing the portion sizes of food. Um, we, we usually eat more than our body needs to run itself. And increasing the consumption of good fruit and vegetables. And of course go out and have good fun and enjoy being physical in our life. When are people choosing to do something about their weight? Well generally too late and that's the problem. It's a lot easier to prevent weight gain than it usually is to turn it back once you've gained the weight. And I can assure people that what I can do for them as a doctor in terms of trying to slow down their diabetes, trying to prevent the next heart attack, trying to stop them going into kidney failure is not nearly as good as what they could do in a prevention, a real true pre prevention sense. Thanks to Dr. Brandon for giving us an insight into obesity. Thanks. Hello, Brandon. Thanks, guys. It's been a pleasure. For some people, it's an everyday reality, so we're off to meet a woman who's changing her life to save her life. Everyone, meet the beautiful Naivi. Kirana. Kirana. Naivi, you've made the life changing decision to lose some weight. Was your weight quite a serious problem for you? Yes, it was. I'm diabe diabetic as well. When my doctor referred me to the diabetic clinic, we decided that I was just being so lazy and not doing anything healthy, you know. And he said, I'm going to put you on this diet. Um, I've lost a total of 26 kilos. Wow. Yes, from last week. It was 12 weeks since we started. How much did you weigh before that? <laughs> um, 133 kilos. And how do you feel? Well, I feel great. I feel lighter. I can run. <laughs> uh, when I'm sleeping at night, this was when I was big, I'd rest my hand on my stomach. But I don't have any um, stomach to lay my hand on, so... Oh. But it's good. Do you think it's hard for Pacific Island people to lose weight? Well, I think so, because we're brought up to um, welcome people with food and farewell people with food. Do you think the way that we eat and think about food as Pacific Islanders needs to change? Yes, definitely. I know we're being taught to eat vegetables, but some of us don't stick to it, and we just go back to the old habits of just eating meat and maybe a piece of taro and food with lots of coconut cream in it. Navy, what lifestyle changes have you had to make to lose that weight? I have uh, gotten into a routine of walking to stop eating all the rubbishy food I was eating. What prompted your decision to lose weight? As well as my doctor's advice, my husband died in 2007, October 2007, and he wasn't, there wasn't anything wrong with him. He was the fittest person in our family. And you sort of sit back and you look and you think, you know, 
you yourself are not healthy and he hasn't lived to be 60, so I want to live longer than that and see my children grow and my grandchildren grow. What's the most important thing you've realised from this experience? Well, it's learning that I can um, lose the weight and live a healthy lifestyle and eat what you want to eat in smaller portions and the knowledge also that my family and my friends are watching me and this will encourage them to do the same. Yeah. Well, thank you, Naivi, for sharing your story with us. Obesity is threatening our community, our loved ones and our future. So do something about it. For more info, go to this website. See you later. And to win this beautiful sheepskin rug and this Lady Killer CD, all you got to do is log on to our website and answer this question. Where is the tannery that Mike visits? Out of the break, the Lady Killers are in the fala and I turn sheepskins into beauties like this. Straight off the sheep's back for a tanning. I could have tanned this. I could tan any sheep's hide. Yeah. Mm.